Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another Hardcore Iron Man progress video here today on the road to all collections. Episode number 46 here. Uh, in this video, we just have a couple of skilling clips to show off, as well as um, obviously another update on my racks grind. Um, have I finally managed to get a drop yet? I think we last left off about three times the drop rate of a leg piece at around 120 kc and we didn't have anything yet did some more racks this week and uh, i guess you guys will see whether or not i managed to pick something up during this video um i know this video is coming out a day later than it usually does we are monday here just because yesterday i was a bit busy and wasn't able to make the video like i wanted to and i also had a clip that i wanted to finish off uh just a skilling level up that i wanted to finish to throw in this week as well um, but yeah, we just have a couple of clips to get into. They're both going to be live commentary here, so I'm going to go ahead and start rolling them right now. Um, I hope you guys like this interface setup I have here, which is obviously just meant for construction. Um, I was, I've been doing construction on and off. I was 85 a couple episodes ago, um, and I've just been training it every now and then using the teak logs that I cut. Um, and I also have a, quite a few mahogany logs at this point from my kingdom, and that's how I'm going to be getting the rest of the logs I need for 99. Uh, so using a lot of the GP I got from Onyx bolts that I received from racks, I was able to train quite a bit more of this. That was a bit of the limiting factor recently was the actual cash that I had. Um, and obviously using the monkey butler is a nice benefit to that cash uh, issue. You know, you don't need to worry about it too much. And uh, I go ahead and switch back to my main layout here as we are about to hit the level up that I wanted to record for, and that is 90 construction. And I've been going for that recently mainly because obviously on Anachronia, the large pens require 90 construction, but also for the player lodge at the base camp, I need 90 construction. And I did semi recently get the dinosaur tooth needed to build that. So yeah, the only thing now that I need is the reinforced dinosaur hide as I already am 90 hunter. I do need that reinforced dinosaur hide to fully finish off the base camp. And that one will be really nice to get for your big game hunter because obviously it'll remove one of those frog types for you, which is very nice. And uh, on tier three hunts, I can, I'm, I'm most likely will use the frog repellent uh, in order to make it so I don't waste any of my tier two meat and get the most uh, opportunities at the mall pieces and stuff as possible. So yeah, I did want to just include in this clip, I'm obviously heading over to the Anachronia uh, farm right now. I'm going to go ahead and build both of these pens. I really think they need to just cut off this entire peninsula here. I don't understand why they added it in like this where you have to walk a uh, like it's quite a decent bit of walking for literally no reason to get to the farm. Um, just seems kind of weird to me. I know it's like connected to a different tree on Anachronia itself, but I, it still could have been a little bit closer to the farm. But yeah, these cost 75k. I believe it's stone, wood, and vines, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't quite see it in the chat box. But uh, I had maxed out resources, so I'm going to go ahead and build these. And I'll need to get, obviously, the resources back up again in order to build that player lodge. But I wanted these pens a little bit more than that. So there we have it. Built both of those pens. A little bit of construction XP for that. And we can now put our large animals in there. As previously, I was just putting my arcane apoterosaur in the actual uh, breeding pen to grow him originally. But um, this next clip here is going to be a farming level up, actually. I did want to show this one off because it is a pretty good one for my herb lore training actually, believe it or not. I mean, because of the new primal extract is actually a pretty good source of herb lore XP. As you can see, I claim from that chin since I didn't get it off the herb lore patch, we hit 105 farming and that unlocks for me the mango bush, which I have plenty of seeds for. I did obviously have the ability to plant the avocado bush prior to this, but I didn't have any seeds for that, even after collecting from some Jadinkos on my farm. Um, I don't know where else you can get those from, but I wasn't able to really get a good supply of those avocado seeds. So yeah, and now we're actually jumping into the live clip. Um, I'm actually here at Master Farmer just doing a little bit of pickpocketing to get some food for my Jadinkos. It's really fast, honestly, to get food for, for them just by pickpocketing this guy. You can get quite a bit of seeds pretty quickly. I'm actually probably going to be all set with this for now. This is just for my breeding pen. And you know, you get your odd couple of good herb seeds in there. You want to pick through before you go off and put it in the pen. Um, let me just make sure uh, there's nothing else I want to keep. I don't think so. Oh, the limpwort. Definitely want that. 
Um, but yeah, that farming clip was actually just a couple, like probably an hour ago. So I am, uh, it was pretty close to now when I recorded that. But I do have a couple other skilling levels that I've gotten recently. I'm very close to 98 divination. Uh, I would be 99 a long time ago if I had been keeping up with my cash, but I kind of dropped off on it a little bit recently. Um, I'm also 96 fishing. I got that uh, recently from Swarm. 97 strength from doing more racks. 95 cooking. Um, 91 hunter. I don't know if there's anything else that I've gotten level ups in, um, but I have been doing a decent bit of skilling. I think I, I think I got a fire making level as well um, because the uh, they said they were going to be doing the dead click fix this week and they have implemented it. I haven't seen any bugs about it yet, so hopefully it is working properly. Um, but I still was doing racks, you guys will see. Um, I have 152 racks kills now, and obviously from the lack of clips in the video, we did not get any drops once again. And uh, for the next couple of days, I'm not doing any racks. I really don't want to do it on 1-2. I just don't like it. Um, I might, maybe I'll do like a half hour aura. Uh, or something, but I just don't like doing one two all that much. It's just a pain having to deal with the acid spiders or if you don't deal with them, then obviously you kind of get pretty blasted on uh, on phase four when she absorbs that acid. But um, yeah, as far as everything else goes, I, I haven't done a whole lot of other uh, PVM. I did a bit of Slayer, did some my Slayer, a couple of my Slayer tasks. I'm 750k off 102, so I'm not doing Slayer a whole lot at the moment, but I might um, be getting back into it more soon just to continue going for some of those items that I want to get, like Cinderbane gloves and uh, the boots from the dinosaurs and stuff. But um, one thing that actually came out this week, and I'm going to be making my vlog right after this video, is uh, at the Anachronia uh, Hunter Shop, where you spend your Hunter Marks, you can actually now buy dinosaur eggs so oh shit I just knocked something over on my desk but you can actually now buy dinosaur eggs and I'll talk more about it obviously in my vlog itself but um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some here just to see what I can manage to get and uh, I do have quite a few hunter marks right now 258 I got a lot of those when doing Jadinkos, but I have been doing a decent amount of big game hunter recently and I'm going to be doing a lot more of it now that this has come out mainly because um, I was waiting for this because they, they kind of hinted at something coming on this Monday for eggs and I wanted to see if they were going to increase the drop rate or what. Um, so I'm going to continue now doing Big Game Hunter. I am going to do that all the way to 99 Hunter and I'm going to hopefully try and get them all as well from there. But I won't have to worry too much about camping the same dinosaurs to get their eggs because you can get them from here. And this concludes both the Slayer monsters and the BGH monsters and according to Jagex it's fully random uh, so I can buy three I'm just gonna buy all three and we can see what we get right now I have one arcane apoterosaur and one uh, of the lowest level dinosaur I think it's the feral dinosaur I'm not hundred percent sure on that but if we can get a breeding pair of those that would be amazing um, but really I'm open to anything hopefully I can grow it but likely not considering I'm not that high farming but let's go ahead and buy three of these for 240 hunter marks bam and I don't recognize any of these so they're definitely not stuff I already have but okay we got the ASEA tops um, need 110 farming for him so he can go in my bank I think this is a Mali tops yeah that's a Mali tops that's awesome I know you need 117 farming for that, but that is the one that gives you the barricade perk, which is the best perk in my opinion easily that I'm going to be using for sure. So that is a great one to get. And then this is the Bagrata Rex. I should be able to... Oh, one more farming level for him. Okay. So we didn't actually get any we could um, grow right now or any breeding pairs or anything, but still, I think that is uh, pretty decent just to get the Mally Tops from that. And uh, obviously, it'll take a ton of hunter marks to get all the eggs you want interesting that i got all bgh monsters and no slayer creatures that's probably good if you ask me um but yeah it'll take a ton of hunter marks to get all the ones you want so obviously i'm still going to be doing big game hunter to try and get some eggs and like if i get an arcane apoterosaur breeding pair i'll like not do those as much um obviously if i need the meat i'll still have to do them but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Like I said, there was not a whole lot of stuff that went down this week. I was just doing quite a decent bit of skilling. Um, I was not doing a whole lot of PVM outside of racks. I was just doing a bunch of racks 
uh, you know, just the daily every I do I do eight kills a day on one three and two three, and um, I just, I just haven't had any luck just yet. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now is going for that tier 90 weapon and then from there we can move on to other things. The, probably the first big boss I want to do once I get my Nox staff would be Virago because I would like to get Tectonic and hopefully a Seismic Wand if I can get lucky. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I think I'll probably be going for 99 Fishing over the next couple weeks slowly as my next skilling 99. Um, but we'll probably have maybe Range or, or Strength in the next week or two as well from from Rax and Slayer but I mean I'm, I'm creeping up on Max ever so slowly here I'll probably go for 99 fishing and cooking next like I said for skilling and hopefully once we have that Rax uh, item we can go ahead and do some uh, some higher level PVM but yeah guys sorry for the bit of a disappointing episode this week I still hope you enjoyed it a little bit I mean we did get that 90 construction which is pretty sweet and right now I'm gonna go ahead and plant all these mango seeds at all the bush patches so we can start getting our primal fruit pulp up even higher uh, I have been doing the cactuses I'm actually keeping the dragon fruit in their fruit form not grinding them up because you do need these for the um, what's it called the primal feast and I might want to make some of those down the line but yeah other than that you guys I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one there should be another video out um, probably in a couple hours just for the weekly update peace out